on this YouTube channel, Big Collectibles. And by the end of this video, you are going to discover what is the current state, the current values of Marvel Comics on VV. These NFTs, have they gone up? Have they gone down? What kind of profit? What kind of ROI? Is this a good investment, bad investment? What has happened with these Marvel Comics on VV? But before we get into that, if you like free stuff, join the free Discord join subscribe to the youtube channel and also we, this thursday we're having a giveaway we're giving away some baseball cards physical collectibles thanks to john g much appreciated and fast eddie p is going to host the break come this thursday so jump into the free discord and mention what is your favorite team to enter simple as that and for the paid uh raffle for the paid members we're having a raffle uh, $4.99, and this month it's going to be Iron Fist. So far, we've got five members. If you're interested in that, um, just uh, go, go to Discord and ask. All right, <clears throat> let's get right into this. We're going to look at what are the values of my favorite Marvel comics on the VV app. We're starting off strong with Marvel Issue 1. At $409, this has been a dip. At the end of this video, we're going to go and compare, and I'm going to show what are the current. We're going to break it down again. We're going to do a recap and then a, a, a comparison between last week and the last uh, few weeks. All right, everybody, let's keep it going. And we're looking at Journey into Mystery, issue 85, and that bad boy will set you back 60 bones right now. And we've got none other than Miles Morales, Ultimate Fallout 4, let's see, this is the first appearance of Miles Morales, let's see what this is going for on VV, $117 for Ultimate Fallout 4. Okay, Deadpool, first appearance of Deadpool, New Mutants 98, that's the cover right there, iconic cover, this is going for $46 on VV. Here we go, we're looking at Fantastic Four, issue 5, first appearance of Doctor Doom, very iconic comic book. This one is $134. And here we go. We're looking at classic comic book cover right there. Woo, the guts are good. Everything's good about this one. You've got Incredible Hulk versus The Thing for the verse, first, time, first time. Fantastic Four, issue 12. That's the cover right there. Let's see what this is going for on Vivi. This will set you back. Let's just call it $29 on Vivi. Here we go. We got another one, another banger. Mucho caliente. The Fantastic Four, issue one. I mean, I can't look. And by the way, at the end of this video, I'm going to go ahead and break this down. And you'll be able to see what is the current values for these comic books in real life. Very interesting to see. You know, comparison. Look, it doesn't translate the same and all that good stuff. But look, it's data. It's information. Uh, you know, we see what the comic book collectors are into. What are they like? And this will set you back $156 on VV. Fantastic for issue one, $156. Here we go. We, Daredevil's been in the news lately. He's coming out with a new show. Uh, he's going to be on um, here. You know what? You can see here, man, new series at Netflix, Marvel's Daredevil. We don't know exactly, um, you know, what the, how, how this is going to affect the future of this comic book and whatnot. Uh, we have. So I just want to show this real quick. This is. Completely, you know, speculation and, and whatnot. I don't know how this is going to translate to the actual comic book, Daredevil. But go ahead, you know, he's he obviously, I don't, spoiler alert, I don't want to really mention it. But he was, it's in the article. Don't read it if you, you don't want to get it spoiled. But he, he's, you know, cameo in a recent movie. You can pause the video if you want to go ahead and read through this article and see what kind of projects there, you know, we, we're, we can expect for Daredevil. And so let's just... Scroll a little bit further down just in case you wanted to get ahead and uh, take a look at that. All right, let's just get back to what we were doing. All right, the nitty gritty. All right, back to Daredevil. Daredevil on VV. Daredevil issue one set you back $117. Here we go. Another banger. Mucho caliente comic book right here. Amazing Spider Man issue three. First appearance of Dr. Octopus. Very, very iconic villain. $69 for this beautiful comic book. And last but not least, the Amazing Spider-Man issue. Oh, wait. No, wait. We still have two more to go. I apologize. The Amazing Spider-Man issue one. Let's see what this is going for. $195. Now, this is a new edition. I mean, not a new edition. We, you know, he was there last week. Amazing Spider-Man issue 14 
where I have a column on the uh, spreadsheet that we're going about to look at. And he was last week $46. And let's see, Amazing Spider-Man, first appearance of Green Gob, and then uh, set you back $36. So we're digging in hard now. We're digging in hard. We're at the Big Collectibles website. Link in the description if you want to go ahead and refer back to this. Now we've got four weeks of data when it comes to my favorite comic books on most of my comic books. Now, the Amer uh, Amazing Spider-Man issue 14 is only two weeks of data. And Captain America 117, that hasn't even dropped yet. Um, I have it on the list. So that's why you have those um, those errors in the formula. So let's go ahead and recap real quick. Today is the 31st. You can see uh, column E is an echo. So uh, that's today's values. Marvel issue one, $409. That is uh, a change, uh, you know, uh, obviously a, a dip in uh, in value. And so we, we see here uh, Fantastic Four issue one, $156. That is uh, down from 220 Amazing Spider-Man one. And you can see Right over here in column A, the name of the comic book and the real life value, which I pulled from uh, Go Collect today. So, um, so it's accurate. A lot of these uh, real life values have changed. So, um, Amazing Spider Man issue one uh, is one ninety five down from two seventy. Journey into Mystery eighty five is sixty down from ninety one. Fantastic Four five. Is that $134 down from $180? I'm just going, I'm comparing from last week to this week. Now, Fantastic Four issue 12 is at uh, $29 down from $39. Daredevil issue one is at $117 down from $145. Amazing Spider Man issue three is at $69 down from $91. Ultimate Fallout four is at $117, down from $144. New Mutants 98 is at $46, down from $55. Amazing Spider-Man 14 is at $36, down from $46. It's at $36, down from $46, okay? So you can see here that these increases, you can see the dates in column F as in Foxtrot, uh, that, that column, you can see some major increases. Then the two-week increment leading into the Disney drop had the greatest uh, increase observed in within those two weeks. And shout out to uh, Madi, my wife, who uh, helped put this, put my uh, the spreadsheet together for me. She uh, she included the uh, the extra weeks of information, the data here. So three weeks change. Uh, you can see here, <clears throat> starting from when I started this to today, we're still at an increase. It's still at a profit, but you can see a lot of them have changed from 79 to 36, from 83 to 30. You can see here from 145% increase to 77. So if you bought leading into that week, leading into the Disney drop, you know, if you bought, whew, you, you're looking at a loss here. Absolutely. So I personally purchased, right? I went on a buying frenzy with it. I, I would say um, I was buying stuff up until an hour, half hour before the drop, just right in there. Uh, I, I was buying things, I would say maybe 12 hours before is when I started. Late, late, late at night or, or early morning, I guess, however you want to look at it. So that wasn't at the bottom because things continued to dip. But still, I was able to purchase things at a nice, nice discount. Some nice collectibles, some nice grails. So let's just look at one last thing. The average change in four weeks, you can see here. With the first one, which is um, Marvel 1, is 60%. Then Fantastic Four 1, 57%. Amazing Spider-Man 1, 96%. So you're still looking at a four-week change of some nice profits. Uh, even if you bought four weeks ago. Journey into Mystery, 85, 71%. Fantastic Four 5, oh, whoops. Uh, Fantastic Four 5, 
which is I should make this bigger, but uh, Journey to Mystery is 71% and Fantastic Four 5 is at 86%, okay? And then Fantastic Four 12 is at 24%. Daredevil 1 is at 77%. Amazing Spider-Man 3 is at 57%, increase in four weeks. So if you bought four weeks ago, you're sitting pretty on any of these. Ultimate Fallout 4, you're at 71%. New Mutants 98, you're at 133%. So the biggest gain is New Mutants 98. It went from 21 to $46. So if you stacked up on those four weeks ago, you saw the greatest gain. And you can see here this in second place is Amazing Spider-Man 1 is the greatest gains, those two. And then the one with the least amount of gain is Fantastic Four 12. All right, everyone. I just wanted to share this information with you. You Link in the description. If you want to go ahead and re uh, refer back to this, you can see in a few days, you'll be able to see like, all right, this comic is at this. What was it on Monday the 31st? What what is the trend? What is going on? These things are, I think, uh, regardless, I think undervalued, especially to where they were. Uh, just you can see the dates. Two weeks ago, you can see some big numbers on January twenty fourth. You can see these numbers in, in column D is in Delta. Very interesting information. All right, everybody, good luck in all your collectible decisions. Let them all be profitable. Refer to this, join the free Discord, we can chop it up where we think these values are.